G'day guys, welcome to another Mark Makes video. Today, I'm going to be making a mud kitchen. This one's going to be quite unique with a round sink, and I'm going to be adapting a mixer tap to be able to plug into my garden hose. There's going to be lots of other fun things along the way, so let's get straight into it. So I've picked up some secondhand form board. This is a plywood which granite workers use for concreting. And I'm also gonna be using some recycled pallet timber. So first thing I'm gonna do is mark and cut out the desired shape. All right, I have these three components cut out. And before I go through and show what they're gonna be for, I'm just gonna give them a quick sand. This will be the first time using my new orbital sander. All right, I have these three pieces all sanded. This will be a top shelf. This piece here is going to be the centerpiece holding the sink. And this one here will be a bit of a kickboard. I'm just gonna paint this and this one with some black paint just to touch it up, especially these edges. Now the reason I'm gonna be painting these two pieces black is just so that it can match nicely with this mixer tap, which I have here. Alrighty, I'm just gonna let the paint dry out here. The paint I'm using actually dries really fast, so that's gonna be quite helpful for this project. While that is drying, I'm gonna go and start looking at legs and lining the middle piece. So you might've noticed these pencils in the background. That's another video project I've done, so I'll leave a link below if you wanna check them out after this one. All right, that's all the cutting done. As you might have noticed, I've made a little recess here. That's gonna be where the backboard's gonna go. I've left this layer here a little bit wider. And so when I screw the legs onto the side, they're not gonna protrude. So it should look pretty tidy. So we'll sand the whole lot. And by then I'd imagine our pieces outside should be dry and we can look at putting it all together. So that's all the sanding done. I have to say, I'm really happy with the rough pallet timber finish and the paint has dry and that's looking really nice as well. So now it's time to cut out four legs and start assembling it all together. Alrighty, we got the main framework put together. Still just a basic frame, but it's all assembled. So next thing I'm gonna do is start filling in the back with some timber here. All right, that's the backboards done up to where the legs come down. I've also reshaped the legs a little bit at the bottom here. So they come in on an angle rather than just being square. Now I was gonna put a curved piece going from this edge here to there, but I don't think that's gonna look very good. So what I'm actually gonna do is keep cutting out this recess up to this point here, where it meets the end of this shelf. Alrighty guys, checking in again after quite a few modifications. I decided that having the shelf at the very top didn't look very good, so I've moved it down a little bit and then also cut a bit of a wave at the top here. All the backboard's been sanded, so that's looking a lot nicer. And as you can see, I've taped it all up, and that's so I could do some touch up on the top board and also paint the edge of this middle shelf black just to tie it all in with a nice color scheme. So now that that's all dry, I can remove the paper. All right, now it's really starting to come together. I've just placed the sink in here. It's just sitting there temporarily. I'm not gonna fix it until the rest of it's varnished. But before the varnishing happens, I've just got to do all the prep work for where the tap's going to go. So now that the holes are done, everything is ready for a coat of varnish. So I'll get started on that. And while the varnish is drying, I'll go through everything that's required for setting up the tap. So here's the mixer tap I've selected. Being that I'm only going to be plugging into the garden hose, I'm not going to need hot and cold water. And the piece we'll be using for the garden hose is this one here. This is a reducer. It's going from 20 mil down to 15. This end here goes to the tap and it's up to a 20 mil, which fits the garden hose. So that's all the components there. 
this one ready to plug to the hose. The hot water is gonna be connected to here. What I've done is just capped it with this brass fitting here. And this is the mixer, which is also redundant. The plumbing for the sink is very straightforward on this one. It's just this piece here with the thread on one end that's gonna screw onto there. And then this piece here, which I'll glue straight onto there. That's two coats of varnish done, and it's had a chance to dry overnight. So now it's time to install the sink and the tap. All right, that is all done. I've added a couple more finishing touches. Put these hooks here for the implements. I've put a little plug in the sink here. And I've also put the counterweight for the mixer tap. That's this piece here. So when you pull that down, the weight helps it retract back in place. This button here is for the two settings on the tap. And now it's time for the girls to have a play. Thanks for tuning in guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in two weeks time.